All right, let's talk about solving one and two step division equations. When people see a fraction in an equation, sometimes they get a little nervous, but let's connect it to what we did before. Okay, so let's start right here, right? We got a fraction, x divided by two equals 10. What number divided by two equals 10 is the question. Let's start simple, here we go. So remember, that 10, if we want to write that as a fraction, that means any number, if we want to write it as a fraction, we put it over 1. That's the step. And you guys recognize this. As a proportion, we know what to do. So remember, you see this, change it to this, and you'll know what to do. Remember, you've got two options. You can look for a common factor. There it is. 1 times 2 gives me 2. So I can do 10 times 2 and get 20. Boom. Right? Or, don't forget, what do we got? If we go back to this, we got our buddy cross multiply and divide by the lonely guy. So let's do a cross multiply. 2 times 10. And there's our lonely guy, number 1. Can you see we get the same answer? 2 times 10 divided by 1. 20 divided by 1. Answer, x is 20. All right? Now remember, this problem right here, is a little different. Now I'm saying 48 divided by what number is 12? Again, we're starting simple here, right? This could be a mental math thing, but here's the process. Remember 12, what do we do? Over one. 12 becomes 12 over one. And we have a proportion. And again, we can see, oh, 12 times four is 48. So one times four, I can see my answer is four. But we also have our buddy, cross multiply, divide by the lonely guy. What do we have? There it is, 48 times 1, divided by 12. 48 times 1 divided by 12 is 48, divided by 12, and we get that A is 4, the same exact way. So remember, don't get confused. When you see a fraction in an equation, you already know how to solve it. Use your laws and rules of proportions. All right, let's go take a look at this and practice and see how easy this can be.